people ask, what is best for weight loss? Exercise or the food we eat? I should say both, but they have different roles. So you might have experienced that, that you may exercise a lot and you don't see a ton of weight loss. It's because actually there are new studies that show for exercise to be a weight loss tool, it has to be intense and it has to be more than 60 to 90 minutes a day. And that's not very practical for a lot of people. So don't think of your exercise as the calorie burner. It's still essential. But what actually uh, drives the weight loss is the amount of calories that we eat, the type of calories we eat, and also how we eat it and when we eat it. So it's not just what we eat, but also how we eat it, like if you graze throughout the day. What we eat, type of calories, like a half a bagel may have the similar calories as an egg, but they're not the same type of calories. How fast we eat. Are we eating mindfully? Are we eating with TV or computer? Or are we just eating when we are eating and enjoying it? So all those factors are uh, when it comes to uh, calories and type of calories and how they're introduced in our body, they're more important than exercise and weight loss. However, most people notice that you, if you don't do any exercise, even with the best meal plans, weight loss may not be very successful. So think of your exercise as a tool that does different stuff than just simply losing calories. So for instance, we don't get younger. So our flexibility goes down and that will decrease our mobility down the road. Exercise maintains our flexibility and thus our basic metabolism. It is a mood enhancer. So for instance, you will have your own drug factory when you are on exercise. Studies have shown that exercise increases our adrenaline. Think of exercise as a mood enhancer, something that can help you actually stick to a meal plan because you care about yourself more. You are, to put it in a simple way, you are higher, uh, makes you high and also increases your energy level, increases your flexibility, and yes, contributes some to the calories too.